Hey Virgo Seeker, thank you for joining We're Gain, The Existential Shift. Welcome to your January Tarot Scope 2019, huh? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Let's get to it. So this is the After Tarot. They're pretty. Very similar to the Rider Way, but they give an extra twist. They show what happens right after what you see in the Rider Way. Ten of Swords. Better to start with it than to end with it. I just got it in the Taurus reading. I get it. So does Virgos. Are laying down something to rest. It's always darkest before the dawn and all that jazz. Many of us, as part of a collective, which is why I might be repeating this in the... Um, scopes for January are releasing heavy karmic loads. Heavy. The relationships, the behavior. And karma, I say, I mean like the retaliation of past doings in the face of difficult partnerships, difficult experiences. Uh, it all start off, starts off amazing because then why would we go there if it doesn't seem like it can be amazing? It's like it lures you, right? But then when the truth comes out and you see that you're miserable, that you were miserable, the thing that you thought was supposed to make you happy, the thing you had in your head, that checklist, that will make me happy. This person will make me happy. This relationship will make me happy. This job will make me happy. This um, city will make me happy. And then you get that. It happened to a lot of us in 2018. You got it. And then it exploded. It blew up in your face. And you were like, damn. The thing I thought will make me the happiest has made me miserable. Do I not know myself at all? It's, it's also, uh, it also shatters the, the, the sense of self, like, what do I know about what I need and what I want, what I thought I needed and wanted? <sighs> but here's the, the good news, here's the fun part, now that you know that that didn't work for you, please know to not search for that again. Because happiness is not a checklist. Virgo, we love our lists. Uh, my Virgo is in the fourth house. My IC is in Virgo. I get Virgo. I love Virgo. I am a Virgo. Inside the stores, there is a Virgo. Yes. So I get it. We love our lists. But please do the, those lists when it comes to your schedule. When it comes to your um, work priorities. A recipe, grocery store kind of list. Yeah, I love that. Not when it comes to love. My perfect partner has A, B, C, D. They look E, F, G. They behave, behave, H, I, J, and so on and so on. And that's not how love works. Now, it's funny because you're so pure, Virgo. You are the pure essence of healing. You and Pisces. You come from the mind and they come from the heart. And then you meet somewhere in the middle and you make magic and you help humanity. Yay. Love it. So how can you be so... Um, intuitively understanding the notion of love and how amorphic and uncontrollable that is and how it is led by the soul and not by the mind and yet make a list about it hmm? please explain that to me comment tell me how why i get why because love is not enough and we know that we need to get along we need to build a life together we need to make sense on many levels, yes. 
But that's the exterior aspects of the relationship, not the core of the relationship. It's not the reason for the relationship. It's the added value for the relationship. It starts with where the heart sparks, and then you let your mind nudge a little bit in. Okay? Not the other way around. It's not once your mind is at ease, then we'll see if the heart awakens. No. Once the heart awakens, then we'll see if the mind is also at ease. Let's move on, shall we? That was more of a channeled message from the Ten of Swords. Virgo, January, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Up, up, up. We also got the Two of Swords in Taurus. Ace of Cups, though. Ace of Cups, though. This really connects with what I just rambled on. Why are you allowing your mind sabotage love? It can't get any more clear. Look, the swords, the mind, are blocking the sight. There's an inner battle going on over who rules the heart. Guess what? The heart rules the heart. Not your right lobe, not your left lobe, not your conscious, not your subconscious. Your heart. How do you feel? Not what do you think. Two of Swords, Ten of Swords, past thoughts, a narrative, a cognitive cycle, a monkey mind. It's not necessarily an actual reasonable, an actual reasonable present thinking. It's something that you're used to thinking. Stuck in the loop, like a hamster in its wheel, chasing that thought, never reaches it. Because it no, it's no longer there. It's 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 just stuck there because you let it stay stuck there. Because I don't know, it serves you in a way. Serve a fear. Why are you scared of your heart? Why are you scared to feel? Think about that for a second. Feel that for a second. Why are you Why are you scared to feel? Are you scared to get hurt? Maybe you're using your mind as an alleged reason when it's actual, actually an excuse to avoid something that your heart truly cares about because you're scared you'll get hurt or you will hurt. Maybe it's a defense mechanism and not an actual checklist of what it is you allegedly need and want. And maybe that's the thing you're putting down to rest in January, Virgo. And when you lay it down to rest, That's when the heart will awaken. This could be just something that is really, really emotionally powerful that shakes it, that mechanism and forces it to wake up or break down. I don't see a traumatic breakdown. I see a healing process of you becoming aware and knowingly with choice putting it to rest Let's keep going for Virgo for January please <laughs> couldn't get more poetic Three of Swords, and this after Tarot, the Swords are out and the heart is healing. And then the Six of Wands. This is beautiful. Okay, I see someone doing everything I just said. Allowing themselves to actually acknowledge what it is they feel. Face their heartache. Heal it. Care and tend for it. And, be, and then be victorious, defeating their own mechanism. I see someone defeating their own mechanism, soothing down their heart.
And this will be giving to someone, not from a place of, oh, I think I should give because of X, Y, Z, but I feel I want to give and I'm not scared of getting hurt. And the Six of Wands here. Six of Wands comes after Five of Wands. Five of Wands is part of struggles, and then the Six of Wands is, is winning adversity. Hence, this was the adversity. You were your greatest enemy, Virgo, when it comes to love. By fearing something, you created that something, and then thus, thus constantly telling yourself that you were right. Because you went for things that weren't true love. Inevitably, it ended up badly or hurtful. Because it had to come to surface. It had to be discovered as something that wasn't ever real. And then that hurt. So you really didn't defend yourself. You only created it. And when you let that go, Six of Wands. I just want you to look at how beautiful the Six of Wands here in the afternoon. In the right away, he has that victorious crown on his wand, but here he's giving it away to someone, sharing their success, sharing their achievement. This type of achievement I'm talking about, emotional achievement. <laughs> Pretty. Pretty, Virgo, it's that. And then we have, oh, sorry, it all flipped. The Hierophant, the Lovers, Nine of Wands, and the Moon. Some of you are consider. Wait, I'm sorry. Oh. Some of you are considering a commitment here with the Hierophant and the Lovers. This is around May, June, or can signify Taurus slash Gemini. I, I feel like you guys should watch Taurus reading because there's a lot of um, synced kind of messages, different but similar in a way. Six five six. So I see some of you considering some sort of a commitment, something formal, um, here with the Hierophant and the Lovers. But the Nine of Wands and the Moon, there's still a little bit of carrying of that, um, you know, this is, this is PTSD, this combination. Nine of Wands on its own can be PTSD, the Moon on its own can be PTSD, but together this post-traumatic stress disorder, this paranoia, fear, concern, um, always feeling threatened, always feeling like there's something you need to protect yourself from. Um, the moon is the emotional realm. It's, it's, it's your subconscious attacking you, not reality. You, you obviously project your subconscious on reality because that's what we all do. That's our mechanism, okay? No shading here. It's what we all do. But this is strong. Don't make your parents you. Our childhood psychology is from our parents. It's just as simple as that. You have the inner voice of your parents inside your head. You think it's your inner voice, but it's actually your parents. It's their voice. Find a way to hear your own voice that is apart from your parents is. Now that doesn't, your parents could be great, your parents could be horrible. I don't know. I don't know you Virgo. Many of you are watching, I love you all. 
Whether it's great or not great, that doesn't matter. It's not yours. You have your own voice. And it's really trying to be heard, but it keeps being shoved down. And energy really advises you to make a choice that comes from your highest wisdom, from the higher fent, from a mature cognition that is also aligned with your intuition, that is current and isn't fear and past oriented. This is 100% love. This is commitment. Um, so I don't know if you're going into a relationship in January or going through the process of considering going into a relationship, but it will be potentially much better than what you had in the past. That was just a, um, um, an, a, an expression of what you of the turmoil you had inside of how you perceived potential partners, how you perceived uh, love. This will come from a new perception. Thus, could work much better, but. Everything comes with a thorn. You will be tempted to go back to your old mechanism. When things will start to be too good to be true, you might try to um, sabotage. Put yourself under a very strong check, Virgo. Rise above all of it. If there was something that you've been carrying since the, the last um, Taurus slash Gemini full moon, um, from two, three months ago, time to reach its culmination or release or um, just tangible results kind of thing. The process, okay, you, you, you've, been, you've, been, you've been stuck in the process of overthinking it and analyzing it for a few months now. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's time to just put it out there, whatever this is. The star in the reverse, it fell down in the reverse, right on the three of swords, the healing. Don't get too stuck on healing your heart and forgetting to be hopeful for the future. Some of you, those of you who are really into astrology, are over-relying on the planetary shifts and over-obsessed with where this is now and what is this now and should I do this or should I not do that? It's almost like debilitating and you're losing your own sense of inner guidance. Don't be obsessed or over or debilitated because of the planets. Don't forget we have free choice and they can't really present their energies if we don't present ourselves in the world. It's like you feel the love, but you don't have faith. You have more fears than you have faith. And that can really debilitate this lovely thing that I'm seeing here with the Six of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Lover. Something that could be um, very beautiful for the long haul. But you have to remember, Joie de Vie is how I named Capricorn that I posted last uh, yesterday. So you have to remember the joy of life, why, what it is that you're doing it for, to actually wake up in the morning and be happy. So give yourself a chance, Virgo. Let's keep going for Virgo, please. Thank you.
Six of Swords, Four of Swords, Knight of Swords, and the World. One second, please. Yeah, I'm eating Nutella from a jar. No, I'm not advocating for this, no. This is half sugar. Bad. Bad secret. Whatever. You don't get to be the judge of me. Mm -mm. Uh oh. taking my time with this because this is complex and I'm trying to give this the proper okay okay there are those of you and this is not a prediction, this is an expression of something that those of you who resonate with it already know. And unfortunately, sadly, many of us are going through some sort of loss because Venus retrograding in Scorpio, um, it took a lot away from us. That includes loved ones that have passed away. This whole time frame the past months was very intense. Um, spiritual portals were opening up left and right and we were transitioning from old self to new self, from one life to another. Hey. So, some of you were used to being on the seesaw, the narrative of either the victim or the hero. You're either the good guy or the bad guy. The savior or the... I don't know, criminal, whatever. And recently something may have happened that was so intense, like a really intense experience, that broke down a lot of your mechanism, including that. You see someone be like, I don't want to save anybody, but I don't want to be saved. I just want to be. And for those of you who succeed in actually breaking through this mechanism, the scale of victim hero. This is a great achievement. The world here. This is true balance. This is a massive achievement for those of you who succeed in doing that. Some of you might get stuck in it because instead of taking it as a a generating generator for shift for a shift you've taken it as strictly trauma just something added something else to add to the list of the post-traumatic experiences if you'll be able to take this out of your list of post-traumatic experiences actually just burn the fucking list make a bonfire burn it don't think it from there anymore definitely don't behave from those events anymore 
create, establish a complete new narrative, complete new set of behaviors. You're not the one that always saves the day and you're not the one who's always in dire need or that ranges between this or that. You just are. You just do your thing and you're fine. And that will draw connections and things, people, things, that are on the same type of frequency of balance. A constant balance of the yin and yang and not only yin, only yang. The rainbow as opposed to just black or just white. It's your opportunity. This is an opportunity to make you or break you. Um, soon I will do the numerological aspect of what I do with the cards. I will reshape the, the cards in the table and align them differently to give added and or different narratives and interpretations. It's what I always do in my regular extended videos at first and then I move on to a Celtic cross and then messages from the runes. Um, for this month of January, your extendeds are actually yearly extended. Link below will lead you to your Ministress of Magic, 2019 Ministress of Magic. With, with it, you have uh, January through December for the entire year uh, for you, Cairo, Oracles, Runes, including January. So I preferred to focus on January's extended to, to be our, our yearly project, a yearly um, tarot scope. So, but this is, I, I see it as a good opportunity because I'm not making a, a monthly specific for January extended. It's a great opportunity for me to show you what I do once I resume um, the regular extended so you'll have a taste of it. One last card before I move to that part. Oh, also link, it's linked below, but also link below if you want to book a private reading with me. Um, yeah, fun stuff in the information box. Tarot master class. Study online tarot at your own pace. Download whichever videos of specific tarot cards that you want to know more about or download all of them and then just have an actual process of learning tarot as opposed to just know the interpretation of a or several cards that you just want to know about. Uh, up to you. And I, I post them as I go. It's a work in process. Work in progress. Work in process, whatever. Um, so you have a lot over there already and I keep working on it so I'll just add them okay sorry let's let's conclude I want the 15th card for January for Virgo three of wands great recognition of a new path that is more suitable to you and you kind of um, you you send your intention out to the universe and when I say that you send out the, your intention to the universe, this is, isn't necessarily a, a manifestation in the form of how we think of it from the movies, uh, witchcraft, bonfires, clouds, yeah. Th this, is, this is how you communicate to the world. This is uh, your daily choices, uh, uh, your habits. It's just, and that generates change. When you behave differently, you create different. If you keep doing the same thing, you can't expect different results, right? That's the definition of insanity. Hi, Einstein. Uh, so don't be insane and don't expect different results yet maintaining the same type of behavior. Change the behavior, change the result. Aye, aye, aye. Um, three of Wands says that you're doing that. And Three of Wands really makes me happy to see here because 21, the world, the achievement that we're aspiring to, assuming that we're breaking the mechanism and, and, and finding the actual balance as opposed to be all con on a constant seesaw. 21 is three, three. Good. Uh, also, the rest of the warrior, someone is, is 
is taking a last fight, a last battle against something, and then they're like, I'm done with this battle. It's going to be an inner battle. Um, but this can be an actual battle. I, I don't know, maybe you're a soldier. Maybe you were a soldier, and this is you trying to uh, heal from the PTSD. I'm the first to know. I'm the first to know. Um... Let my people go, I'm getting. Let my people go. Um, some of you are fighting for the freedom of someone you love. And it's a final battle that you are doing in order to give them freedom. Something that you exert power and play the hero to give someone freedom and that will ah that will be um, a fulfillment of a karmic debt some of you need to do something for someone help them achieve freedom because it's something karmic that you've been carrying this is not a bad thing this will this will this will this will be um, beautiful for you and for the person i don't know if you're a lawyer helping an immigrant i don't know if you're a man helping a woman with something i don't know I know and I don't know, but yeah, I know and I don't know. The endless, um, the constant curse of the seer, right? I know, but I don't know. I, I feel it, but it makes no sense. So, I, yeah, no. I, okay, now let's do the thing I do. First, I want to check all the, uh, first I take all the majors. Mm. Okay. Then I take the numerology, the re repetitive numbers. So I have two sixes, two threes. Um, I only have one ten. Now, even though I only have one, two, one, four, I'm going to leave the two of swords and the four of swords because I have two, three, two of swords, three of swords, and four of swords. And right after that, I have six of swords. So it's kind of, it wants to be here. Only one knight, only one nine. Okay. Don't you see it? So this is the first part of what I do in the extended. Not not for this month, for, for next one, month, for... Um, future reference. This month you have extended, but they're the yearly ones. They're super intense and I just dissected the year by month and month and it's it's pretty cool. So if you want to, I did it especially for the holidays. And you, you're expected to go back to it every month to uh, kind of recall the messages and make the connections. Um, okay. Now I'm going to Fix it chronologically. 5, 6, 17, 18, 21. The Hierophant, uh, Lovers, the Star, the Moon, and the World. Sorry. So this really strengthened the narrative that I gave of there was a really long journey, a battle, um, a struggle. This could be a lawsuit that went on forever. This could be um, permits for something that you had to fight for and do, and do for a really long time. Um, this could be um, a transition, a, a major move that took a long time and, and, and a heavy toll. 
um, something along those lines. It is reaching its end, and it's a good ending, I'm so happy to say. Okay. And there was someone that was helping someone throughout that process, or is really about to help someone to get that, you know, taken care of. And that's about that. Um, another another thing that is coming up, 3366, and then I'll do this, swords and wands. Um, okay, someone is either coming back from a distance or you're going so back somewhere from after you've been away some sort of an endeavor that um, wasn't necessarily the best or didn't uh, provide you what you wanted or wasn't good and from there you realize where you re really want to go to and then you go there and then you, you you find okay now i'm in the right place i've been in the wrong place now i'm in the right place it requires communication and cooperation with someone else that is close to you either you're going towards someone or someone is coming toward has come towards you this could be a family member that was away or that you haven't seen for a while um, this could be you helping a family member or someone really close to you Uh, this is um, soul family something that you're required to be close to people or someone that you, you are called to be close to and, 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 and with again even if it requires some inconvenience um, so that's the message I don't know comment tell me if it resonated and I see someone going from a place of really looking for an established connection to kind of really losing hope in the or faith in the structure that they once was were a part of or once believed in. And a lot of confusion is coming up and they choose to go about things alone or on themselves or start their own journey and their own path. Um, just be on their own you, you could be leaving an established job or established school mechanism organization that you no longer have faith in um, to go and follow your own footsteps and what it is that you believe in that is a little bit more um, independent than what it, you were a part of and it's a scary process it's a scary journey but you're being called to do it and you know you don't have a choice you're just going about it and it is something it's a soul calling so Good luck. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Virgos. Let's close up with a message from the runes. Once again, it's something I normally do in my regular extended, but now I'm gonna do it because um, things are a little bit different. And that's cool. You'll, you'll get, you, you get, you're getting a taste. Um, and I'll resume that next month, but now you have an extended. It's the yearlies, they're awesome. Check it out. Okay, I use um, a set of runes that is made of hematite. I have several sets. This time I chose the hematite. It's very grounding, it's very protective message for virgos for um for january 2019. my virgo secret is january 2019. ing okay you gotta watch taurus because taurus also got it except that taurus had as the third room and you getting it as the first room can you see i don't know if you can see it what 
And next rune for Virgo. The Gaz. Normally it's it's like this and it's dawn it's, and it can also be the letter D, but a new beginning and a breakthrough. But now it came out like this, like as a sand glass. Something that it needs time to um okay, I'll pick up the last one and then. Last rune for Virgo for January. It was. This is it was. Okay. Once again, a journey of self-discovery that has been boiling up for a really long time and it's still in the process of being processed. If it's make you or break you, you choose make you. And you're, some of you, it's, it takes longer than others. Some of you, it's, it's, a, it's a process that takes time. Um, Divine timing does come to effect with this combination of the Gus standing and who was. It's 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 the inner journey of, of of laying down new but more proper foundations for the future, getting to know ourselves and and, and like like allowing the seeds to grow properly in the right place in the right time. Like something that was something that was always right. But it was the wrong time now it's the right time so now it can come about and manifest it was the the right thing in the wrong time and now time is on your side now and i'm saying it because this the guz like this standing this hourglass um is surrounded with ink and he was which are beautiful and powerful and positive so it's like the tree that has already grown So you're encouraged to go about with this thing that whatever it is that wasn't the right timing, it's it's saying now it's time. Nice. Virgo, this is a really great reading. This is a very good important reading that I received for you. So thank you for the inspiration. And I hope that was helpful. Um, guys, have a happy new year. Check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatnot. Um, take care of yourself, and I'll see you next month. Bye. Oh, and in a second, any of your extended healings.